Why are video games so expensive? Video games today are going for around $60 or $70. And then these publishers have the audacity to include microtransactions and paid loot boxes in their games. Such greedy publishers trying to suck all the money from everyday gamers. But is any of that true? Many AAA games take about 4 years to develop and cost, on average, about $80 million. It also takes almost 600 people tasked with creating such a game. And many sell for around $60, but if you buy it 3 months later, the price drops to around $40. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, a typical game would take about 6 weeks to fully develop. It started with just one developer, but usually a small team of maybe 10 engineers. And those games sold for about $50, 1990 price. 30 years later and the price of video games went from $50 to $60 or even $70. If video game prices had kept up with inflation, video games today would cost $113 each. We can all agree that video games take more work, need more people, and are more expensive to create compared to games of the past. But why have prices been relatively the same for the past 30 plus years? There are two big reasons for this, and the first one is obvious. Microtransactions and loot boxes and all those paid DLCs. Most gamers aren't going to pay for these things, but the players that do are paying a lot of money for these extra stuff. You may hate them as a gamer, but that's really the only way publishers can keep games at $60 or $70. These gamers who buy the extra stuff are subsidizing the rest of the gaming community who don't buy loot boxes or extra skins. The second reason is the increased popularity of video games. In 1990, there were around 70 million regular gamers in the world. The video game industry during that time was worth only $4.7 billion. Today, there are 2.7 billion people who regularly play video games. The video game industry is worth $159.3 billion today. So even though making a video game is a lot more expensive today, publishers can keep the price the same because the industry has grown. With things becoming more digital, it just helps publishers save more money by not selling as many physical copies anymore. Those are the reasons why video games are not as expensive as they should be. So what are your thoughts? Are $60, $70 games unaffordable for you right now? Comment below. And as always, take care of your money.